I'm not hearing great things about this new Saints Row. I always felt like it was just a cheesier version of GTA. I didn't expect like the quality of the game to drop the cyberpunk levels here though. Finally, that time again where I wade through the cesspool that is r slash gaming so that you don't have to. This really is a public service. I mean, you don't have to call me a hero, but if you want to. Going at it by the top of the week as usual. First on the list, finally beat Elden Ring. What an incredible game. Yeah, and at what cost though? Like, I get it. I've barely scratched the surface of Elden Ring, but I get it. I hope to have the self-restraint that if I get back into that game, this won't happen. Great gameplay, boring story. Let me tell you about my life. Nah, I'm good. Oh my dear. PC. My dialogue is unskippable. Oh god. I know that one far too well. Uh, I cannot stand the dialogue that drags out forever and ever and ever. I know some people live for that. They spent hundreds of hours in the game just reading the books and listening to everything, absorbing every little bit of information they can come up with. I'm sitting there smashing the button trying to get to the next location or something. Times are changing. PC modding then, Spider-Man and San Andreas. PC modding now, CJ and Spider-Man Remastered. Ooh. Okay. Well, maybe now CJ can follow the damn train. This one's more of like a paragraph, I guess, a question. As a 56-year-old lady who has never played a video game, which one would you be... Which one would be good to start with? No equipment, 2021 MacBook Pro. Maybe like an Animal Crossing would be good. I think that's a great intro. I mean, you gotta start somewhere start gaining that hand-eye coordination. Get used to more simplistic controls before you really hop into something. Yeah, Stardew Valley, also a good option. I would just think for the first go, you want something that doesn't have a lot of consequences to it. Something where you're not gonna lose a ton of progress because you're just getting used to gaming in general. I had to move out of my militarist parents because I'm working on an anti-war indie game in Russia. It's sad, but this is the way. Okay, that's, that's interesting. This is the game. It looks fantastic. And I'm sure that a lot of people are going to enjoy uh, playing that. Especially given the backstory of the game, that makes it even cooler. Gamers are absolute mugs. Let's be British. You can buy the PS3 version for 4 euros, I want to say, pounds. Or buy... Uh, Part 1 Remastered for $70, or 70 pounds, euros? I don't know. I think you should just be happy that you can buy that original for 4, and that's an option. This one was flagged, uh, not safe for work. The used game store's Bayonetta box art. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure about the legality of that either. They know what they're doing though, if they want to sell some copies. The Last of Us Graphics Evolution of PS3 to PS5. So they, there was a PS4 version remastered as well. I mean, this is only one little piece of the game, not like the grander scheme, so uh, I don't know. It's hard to judge whether or not this is all like necessary or whatever, if that's the point. Definitely more realistic on the PS5 version, but like the PS3 version is not even bad. It's more so that PS3 version is running at what, like 720p or less? Whereas I'm sure the PS5 version, I don't know if it plays games in 4K, I, I think it does, but you're definitely like 1080p 60 frames per second at least. It's not just about like how the graphics look when you take a screenshot and post it online. There's a little more to it than that. At the end of the day, if enough people buy it, then there was reason enough for making it. Wanted to play PS5 games with friends. Friends didn't have PS5s, so decided to change that. Okay, if you can do it. I mean, it is a good deed, it is thinking about your friends, but it does... The way it makes it sound is a little self-serving. Um, you just need them online so you, you have somebody to play with. But I guess you could be going and serving yourself in some way that doesn't benefit your friends, so... Uh, good job. Stamp of approval. Nearly two years later, you can finally walk into Walmart and buy one, yeah. Gosh, uh... I still don't think I've ever seen one on a store shelf yet. I've seen, uh, Switches and Switch OLED... But a lot of stores don't even seem to be putting them out. They have a sign that says, like, you need to buy this online. Which, I mean, uh, I know they can't predict everything in the world and they can only manufacture these so quickly, but just a lost opportunity to have not 
came out with as many of these as possible when stimulus checks hit, at least here in the United States. That was everybody's uh, best opportunity to get one of these if they didn't, you know, already have that money earmarked to stay alive or better. <laughs> Just because my character's in pain doesn't mean my eyes need to be. Yeah, okay, I feel that. That's a feature in a lot of games. I can't even think of one specifically, but just the more damage you start taking. I guess Call of Duty has that. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty, but I play a lot of hardcore, so you don't walk around after taking much damage. But it is still, like, really, really annoying. Now, that's a much nicer comparison. The difference between Last of Us on PS4 and the remake on PS5. So, I mean, let's put the PS3 version even next to that. That's just, like, way more cinematic. I still don't know though because in the PS4 version it almost looks like somebody's shining a light directly on this person in, in the foreground whereas on the PS5 version they're just not doing that. It's really hard to tell just from a screenshot you know getting a fair comparison. Saints Row 2022 tried to steal a bike, bike stole me. Yeah okay I'm not hearing great things about this new Saints Row. <laughs> oh god. All in all, I've always felt like it was just a cheesier version of GTA, taking itself less seriously. I didn't expect like the quality of the game to drop the cyberpunk levels here though. Don't sleep on sleeping dogs, it's one of the best GTA clones and an admirable love letter to HK action movies. Okay, I liked sleeping dogs, I never considered it to be a GTA clone though. I mean, it always seemed like something else. I mean, Max Payne even, probably closer to. I hope it's not like a trend to call every open world, almost sandboxy game uh, a GTA clone. Insomniac, hear me out. And we have Daredevil for PS5. Not the biggest like comic book or superhero Marvel DC fan, so I don't really know the ins and outs in Daredevil of Daredevil. Uh, but that could be interesting. What if it's not like a full-on $60 game, but it's a uh, a cheaper, shorter VR title. And you have the VR screen on, you have to rely on the sound from the headset. And it's mostly black, but how Daredevil might use like echolocation, you can represent that visually and see who's coming toward you and uh, see your weapons and things like that. Just in almost like echolocation or outlines or pulses of sound. I think that might be interesting. I feel like this is a reference I'm missing. Yeah, I, yeah. First comment gets it. William Tell, the dude shooting apples off the other's head. That's what I would assume it's from. Oh, God. Old school gamers remember. <laughs> well, I thought this was a phone case at first. Back in the day, you'd go to like maybe a pizza restaurant um, or a movie and video game rental store, and they'd always have something like this or the little machine full of water that you drop the quarter in and you got a little carousel thing. You're trying to land the quarter, or on this thing, you're trying to get the rings like puffed up with air over onto the peg. 100 plus hours of work on Ark Survival Evolved. Gosh, like I love those builder games like that, Conan Exiles, Rust, and it's amazing what you could do if it, if it just weren't for other people, but that's the point of the game. Or else, what are you building for? This picture I took Assassin's Creed Origins looking like an old Spice commercial. <laughs> Okay, yeah. If only it were Terry Crews flexing his pectorals for no reason. Oh, no. What happened? Is this a crappy off-brand? Yeah, I'm not sure that's enough of a change to keep you from the copyright gods. The only Poké Fusion that matters. Oh, that's, uh, that's disturbing. Halo Infinite split-screen co-op has been cancelled as studio focuses on live service. Well, that's fantastic. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. But on a side note, you can catch all of this and more in the next Gaming News Weekly. Aloy enjoying the rain for Horizon Forbidden West. Marked not safe for work for whatever reason. Uh, stay classy, r slash gaming. Look at this treasure trove we found at the in-laws. All games, manuals, and original cases in excellent condition. Definitely brings back memories. Uh, basically up to the Game Boy Color era. I don't know anything about the DS. Rockstar Games saying their last goodbye to GTA 5 as they transition to fully focus on GTA 6. Surely we can eke out one more console generation, another five years of rocket bikes and 
13 million dollar cars that aren't even that much better than the uh, original launch cars. My Donkey Kong gaming PC, that's beautiful. Looks like a custom water cooled loop. That's fantastic. That's really, really nice. PSA Titanfall 2 is back on sale for 6 USD on Steam. Wish to welcome all to the frontier and the best game to date. It, it's a damn good game. 100% worth $6. How the level looks to you now versus how you remember what it looked like. Absolutely. Yeah, like anything past that 16-bit graphics days. Back then you knew everything was pixelated. After that though, and you'd never notice how crappy it looked uh, until you go back and look at it. I make wearable mini worlds inspired by my favorite games and the Genshin logo menu is my most recent fave. That's really pretty cool. Uh, I, I want to see more of what they can do. I want to know like what the Minecraft world looks like in this. Too bad Mad Max never got the sequel it deserved. It was a great game. I, I didn't get any sequel, did it? I don't know, probably after the next uh, Mad Max movie comes out, we'll probably see another game. Spirit Blossom Ari Cosplay by Bellatrix Aiden. I mean, that's uh, wild. What is that, like a nine-tailed fox thing? Where does, uh, where does what's real end and, and what's uh, CG begin, though? I mean, that's fantastic one way or the other. Probably a lot of time going into all the different parts of that to make it work like this. Well, that's that. Another top of the week on r slash gaming. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe, follow, whatever you gotta do. It's all very much appreciated, and as always, thanks.